Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to talk uh, about how to edit balloons. As you can see, we have a balloon here. If you click this one, you can move the whole balloon around, or you can resize it, and uh, you can uh, also rotate it. If you want to edit text, just double click. You can make it bigger, or you can go to fonts to change any, um, choose any style that you like or size. Now we can see here there's a blue dot. If you click it and hold it, you can change the direction of your balloon. Uh, if you want, like, a, a, for if two people are sharing the same words, you can just click the orange dot. Now if you want to do more editing, you can go to details. Here, actually, basically, you can see uh, lots of features are very similar to the ones you see in photo details, like frame or shadow. Um, but we do have um, s different style here to choose. Let's just choose one, this one. Okay. Um, then we can choose gradient of your different color, or change the frame color. But we do have a new feature here. It's called j uh, tail type. One is jagged, the other one straight and curved. So this is where you can choose the style you like uh, sh with offset shadow. Okay, so this is where you edit your balloons or texts. Uh, let's go back to libraries. Uh, here we have an extend. If you move this one uh, to a different blue, this is what happens. You can extend the balloon and to add a second text. Um, there you go. And there's another very useful uh, feature. It's called lettering. All you need to do is just dra drag it. Um, then you can uh, retype it. Or you can change font. Then you can place lettering. Again, you can rotate, resize or even choose more style. So these features all together definitely make your comic like very lively and interesting. And now if you have uh, learned how to add a panel and uh, add a photo and how to edit your balloons, you should be able to make a very good comic strip. Good luck.